Another video with Palmishka 6. Hello, everybody. Today we are working on this 380 SL, removing the steering wheel, which is very simple to do to have access to the speedometer right here, the instrument cluster. So here, as you can see, we have the Nardi steering wheel. So you're gonna have to pop that out and disconnect the two wires at the back. Then right here with a number eight socket, you're gonna remove all six bolts right here. Steering wheel comes off. Then right here at the hub, you have this big bolt right here. And with a number 10 Allen wrench, you can remove that very carefully and make sure that your steering wheel is in the locking position. And then I do recommend that you mark it also where your center is. Right now, I know my steering wheel was tilted a little bit to the right, and I know when I'm gonna put it back with the yellow marks that I made where it's gonna have to be. Then all you have to do is to basically pull out the hub right here, and this is what you have. And then now you have easier access to the complete instrument cluster. To remove the instrument cluster, I love to use this tool, which is a radio tool right here, so I can squeeze that in correctly. I actually use two of them, one on each side, and then I can pull on the instrument cluster carefully, and then I can take it out, which is now very easy, and this is how we have access to the back of it. Once you have access to the back of the instrument cluster, I do recommend very strongly that you take pictures of the wire so you know exactly how to put it back. To remove the instrument cluster, uh, you just have to disconnect this wire that goes right here. That's one. The main harness with the three bolts. You have one, two, and three. You see this? Right here, one, two, and three. And here, as I can see, I am missing already a small bowl. Then here at the back, what you wanna do, you wanna to come to that main plug right here. You wanna go ahead and carefully disconnect it. And pretty much everything is done at the exception of this really little plug right here. All right, so this is the plug right here that you need carefully with two hands, squeeze on the side and then pull it out. So now you have that completely removed. Here you can turn this carefully until you can pull it out just like this and then like that and now you have the instrument cluster completely out of the car what we are going to do next carefully is to remove the center speedometer odometer gauge with just removing right here the screws on the back of it Two, three, and don't forget this little guy right here. Carefully, and I put them like this. You can take this out, put it aside, and carefully also you can disconnect right here those little black grommets around. Push them, push them out of the way. And now, as easy as this, the speedometer is out of the cluster. The next thing on the back of the speedometer is first of all to inspect it. And here I can tell you it has the or original tag and stamps. And there's no tag from any other speedometer company to show me that this speedometer has been removed and has been repaired. What you wanna do is you wanna remove the flat screws right over here, you have four of them. So one, two, three, four. Once you are removing the housing, as such, put it gently on the side, and now you can carefully start looking inside. And what I'm gonna do is that I am going to start looking at the gears, and I will slowly inspect everything. Right here, as you can see, we have a problem with the odometer, and that's because the gears are melted away or just basically gone so now basically what's going on is we're looking at the gears and as you can see uh i have to replace the gears and i have my set of gears right here you gotta remove this screw right here and then the little one right here now we are ready to remove the cover right here carefully as you can see now we're removing carefully the cover with the two tabs that we carefully put away and then we're lifting this up straight just like this 
and now you can better work and inspect your job. All right, so here's what we have. Normally those two gears, you don't have to replace them because they're very strong and very sturdy. So it's very rare when you have to replace them all. But right here, you see that shaft right here? Well, I wanna show you that this basically in my hand, that little metal piece is what you need to remove carefully because you're gonna replace it with this little tiny gear right here. So what you need to do is to clean everything up the best you can and then you're ready to install the new gears. As you can see right now, we replaced all three gears and we're ready to rock and roll. So we should be able to put everything back and then test drive the car to make sure that everything is fixed. So right now what I did is I installed the new gears. I have put back the plate on top and you gotta be very careful when you tighten those screws right here, this one and this one that they don't overdo it, okay? Very snug, you don't have to go crazy. Be careful with those tabs right here because they're very fragile and as you can see, this one is already very weak, but everything is back in place. So make sure everything fits right. If there's resistance, then you know that something is wrong and you need to double check. Also, one thing is that those little rubber rings right here, they have the tendency of falling. So it's very easy for you to work on it and then for this to fall down like this. And next thing you know, you don't realize that you no longer have them on the back of your speedometer. So those little rings, just make sure they're on tight. If you have to put a tab of super glue, then go ahead, do that. Otherwise, just make sure they are on the back of the speedometer when you put everything back. All right, so right now everything is put back together and I am ready to put the speedometer inside this beautiful 380 SL. So now we are putting back everything inside the car, the instrument cluster, and we need to make sure that we go back to installing properly all the wires and all the plugs. All right, so it looks like we have plugged everything and we are now checking one more time all the wires and making sure that everything is where it needs to be and nothing is missing. So now we are ready to put the hub and everything back so that we can install properly the steering wheel. It is now all complete and we are all set.